Oh, Super Mario All-Stars, Super Mario Brothers 3. On the last part, we got through World 1 through 4. And now, we're gonna try to finish the game. So, yeah. I accidentally loaded over my original save file, but I unfortunately had another save file that was in two-player mode. That was up to World 6, so I'm just gonna play off of this one and then make the best of it. I kind of did a dumb, but whatever. Eh, I'm just gonna do our best. What we got here, you know? I could put a little, little bit lighter. Hold up. If you couldn't tell, I was playing with the lighting a bit, so everything might look a bit more crisp on my camera. I don't know. Okay. Not used to these chain chomps being so chompy. This level's pretty cool. See, I said this was his favorite world. I would probably agree, potentially. It is pretty cool. And it has just the right amount of challenge, like not too crazy, but also fairly, fairly difficult. Okay, that's fine. Now it's even more challenging because I don't have my power-ups. The ones I had before, I mean, in my inventory. Okay. Ah, crap. Yeah, you know what? We don't care about Luigi here. Bro, these saves are like from forever ago. Okay, well, um... Damn. We don't care about Luigi. Ah, damn it. That's gonna waste some time. There was no option to disable it, so I guess I'll just have to keep killing Luigi. That'll be another entertaining question mark part of the stream. AKA, it might waste a little bit of time. Probably. Wait, I found a secret while doing this. Or maybe not, I don't know. Die. The Killing Luigi stream. Couldn't have done it better myself. Damn, we have like no power ups either. Maybe there's a lane that land on that, th yeah. No, wait, I want to see what happens. Yeah, boy. What happens if I go up there? Just want to see. Okay. Whee! I don't really like how that tile looks right there. Oh. Oh, this is one of those. The Nookie areas is it? Oh, dang. One ups. That's still pretty good, though. Bruh, it's not fully connected to the ground. I hate it. This 
game's so fun. I forgot how fun it was. Oh, that was an easy level, if, assuming you take the top route. I missed my freaking frog suits and my tanuki. Sure, Luigi, you do the toad house. That way you're exempt from doing any levels. Or maybe that doesn't exempt him. Tanuki suit! Okay. Well, it's already back. Damn it. Kill him. I mean, they could just work together, but like... Why is the fun in that? I'd have to get two different power-ups for everyone. Ew! Okay. Kill him! Oh, it's the fable, the famous Goomba Shoe level. The famous Goomba Shoe level. And I have to move Mario where, wherever Luigi was. Oh, wait. Wait, Luigi got that. Bro. Wait. Bro, wait. Bro, screw you. Okay. He took everything from me. So their items are dip Bro, he has like all the frog suit. You know what? Screw it. I have a better idea. Maybe they can work together. Kidding me? How? Okay. Okay, if you do that, the shoe just goes away. Wait, can you only... Oh, wait. Why is it just dying? That can't be right. Why is the Goomba just dying? Do you have to be small Mario to even use this stupid thing? What? Okay, I am so confused right now. Bro, oh, here I am excited to play the Goomba shoe level and I am not even getting the shoe. Somehow. How do you get the shoe? Okay. It's fine. You know what? We'll do the freaking shoe level without the freaking Goomba. I don't- I don't care. Unless, like, only a specific one gives you the shoe. I don't remember any of this. I thought you just jump on it, and then that's it. But it wasn't giving me any shoes for some reason. Bro. What if it just doesn't give the shoe to Luigi? Because it hates Luigi. I am so confused. Did literally everything in my power to get that shoe. And it just... It's like, no. 
Melt, whatever. I was nothing soon. Things aren't going my way this stream, huh? Hi there, CF. So, um, I made an oopsie, and, um, now my save is a two-player game. Because I accidentally just saved over all of my freaking game. By loading a different save state, because I didn't make a save state for Mario 3. And, I just, I thought I did. But, you know, me being me and messing up saves during playthroughs, right? On these streams. It's fine, though. I'll just have to work with Luigi now. Yeah, bro. Is it, like, guaranteed to give me a Tanuki suit in this freaking Toad House? Every time, it gave me one. Yeah, it's all good. My items are just a little bit different. Not that it matters. And yeah, I can play with Luigi. Or I can just kill him. But... Whatever works. Bro. No, I almost had it all. Good. Break through it all. And don't back down. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. I love this level. This world's pretty cool, honestly. Oh wait, this isn't the one I was thinking of. The Nookie Mario. You can tell I got a new lighting setup, so everything might be a bit better. Not really sure though. By the way, you can kill the Roto Disc, also known as nuclear waffles. I mean, they do look like nuclear waffles. No. No, I wanted to try... Try it. Oh. Okay. This level's pretty cool. It reminds me a bit of Mario Maker stuff. Actually, I think there's a level... There's an area just like this in World E as well. That's why it reminded me of Mario Maker, I think. It's like a tower level, and it's really hard. Yeah, I gotta say, the level design in World 3 is pretty solid so far. I mean, sorry, World 5. If anything, maybe this makes, you know, maybe all this mistakes happening it makes the game more interesting. Because, like, now we got Luigi helping to save the princess, too. Who's gonna get the princess? I don't know. Wait, is there something down there? Apparently not. Unless... Um... Maybe I can, like, fly? Damn, there's, like, no room to fly, and that Cooper just respawned. Okay, wait. I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make room. I don't care what you try to pull on me. I gotta go 88 miles per hour on my flux capacitor. Bro. Okay, they really did give you nowhere in a run for this. Hmm... 
What if I just freaking just floated down there? I just want to see what happens. Absolutely nothing. There is just a big death pit. Wow, what the heck, Nintendo? I thought you knew better than having leaps of faith in your video games. As a mage. As a mage. Also, that apparently didn't count as a level clear for Mario, even though it was kind of like its own level. That's really cool, though. It's like a transition level. Between the first half of the world and the second half into the sky. No. Level's kind of crazy. Wahoo! Oh. No, no, no. I had the right idea. Bro really hates the world, too, that much. That's me. Yo! Bro, the ice world is cringe. Why do you like that? That's like middle of your tier list. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I don't really like ice world. Wait, what? What? Bro, I have to do this again. I have to do this again. Or I could kill Luigi forever, but that wouldn't be very nice of me. Twice the fun on this stream, huh? I mean, I could use this as an inch, uh, excuse to introduce CF into the Ultra Mario Cinematic Universe, but I kind of want to play all the levels, so... Maybe not today. The UMCU. I don't know, I just really hate that one that makes you have the freaking raccoon leaf. That was, that level's so cringe. Other than that, I don't remember anything because I don't really remember all these levels. I mean, once I get into them, I'll remember them, but I don't really, like, remember any off the top of my head right now. Other than that one, because it's cringe. you do this to me? Bro, no, wait, no, no. I don't want to lose my suit. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's so annoying. At least when World E did it, it was only for a freaking advanced coin, for a freaking E coin, like collectible, and not for anything else, and not the progressive level. Not only do you need the raccoon leaf, like it's in the level, I know that, but you also need to freaking know to carry a shell up into a certain area, bruh. It's been a while since we've seen the the fire the flame chomp enemies 
in a Mario game. They would have, like, sparse appearances every so often. Oh my god, I hate this level. Because it keeps trying to kill my Tanuki leaf. I love this one. Can you kill Barrel Power Beetle? Wait, why do they have white eyes? I thought their eyes were black. Nope. Good, you can't kill the wait. Can you hurt para beetles? You could with a tail, but I don't see why you would want to. They're helping you. I love parabeetles. There's also supposed to be another level with parabeetles that's on the back of the box of the game, but that is not used. Okay, how am I supposed to get up there? Oh, I see now. Bro. How's the volume on the game, by the way? Too loud, or just right, and not as echoey as before? I can't really tell, because, you know, I can't hear the playback myself until I'm done. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wow, okay, and the lighting looks pretty good too, I gotta say. At least I think so. Bruh, I got him with that flower. Ah, damn it. Okay, so should I turn down the my mic or the game sound itself? Not really sure about it yet. Mint. Mint. Imagine they just give me mushroom. Bruh, is this just giving you mushrooms? No, but it's a pretty high chance of giving you a mushroom. Well, the problem is, I want to hear it on... I already have the OBS thing capturing the audio. Wait, where? Oh, okay. Like... Like, OBS already captures it, so I could just turn down the sound output on OBS, but I don't want to turn it down on my TV, because I want to hear the game myself. So, I don't know. Um... Let me just mess with it real quick. There. Oh wait, crap, I made it 20. Bruh, it's gonna jump scare you. 
I was, I was trying to make it two, actually. There. There should be less echo. Yeah, that's fine, though. He's busy. Oh, this level looks cool. I can't wait to try out World E. After all this is done. So that'll be... That might be, like... It's own stream. I don't think I'll have time for it today. Oh, nice. So just the right amount of game audio without echo. And, um... Uh, what else? Good mic quality. Yeah, I don't like some of the World 8 levels. I like the one with the tanks, though. It is kind of cool. Right. No, I can't do the airship. It's already done. Well, that's one compromise I'm going to have to make. Game's already beat here. I can't do the airship. Again. You little. That was a fun little level. Do, 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 do. Okay. Also, I think the lighting is a lot more consistent. Like, there's not as much different color shining off my face because I got the light here. So, now it'll always be, like, the same. Mostly. Oh, never mind. The airship is here. Albatross! It's Albatross! Doom, do ba da boom. Alright, yeah, one second. I gotta talk to my brother or something. Forgot we're out of like pay for our rabbits. It's hard not to view Mar Mario 3 in the lens of a Mario Maker creator. Because, like, I made a lot of Mario 3 levels in Mario Maker 2. Mostly because of, you know, Mario Advance 4 stuff, but it was pretty cool. Playing through these levels, I just feel like, oh, all those parts in the World E levels make sense. They feel like Mario 3. It was like, I was extensively recreating those, so I, I would kind of know about the design elements a little bit, or how they, like, operate, I guess.
Bruh. Bro, you suck. Hold up. Hold up. Actually, I think I'll keep standing. That's because it looks better for my streams if I'm just doing that and not looking up at my TV. One thing I can say... Every freaking ice level in this game is better than slip sliding away from worldy. I hated that level. At least in Mario Maker 2, my Mario Maker 2 version, I hated it. Don't know how the actual level plays in comparison. It might be a lot easier. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't keep this suit. Maybe I'm just too strong. Yeah! Honestly, I don't mind auto scroll levels. At least not if they don't drag. Like, Mario ones usually do pretty good with using all the time they have. Like, this level, you're always on the move. You're not waiting for anything to happen. Airship levels, like, there's stuff going on all the time trying to kill you as you progress. Like, it feels like there's a good reason for it. At least. In terms of how the level is dying. In an actual, like, logic perspective, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. But, I mean, it's a video game. It doesn't really matter. There's stuff like that all the time. Where it's like, okay, why does it, why is it like this? Like, in a world where there's freaking floating blocks, all these crazy creatures. Like, the screen moving for no reason. Like, I don't know. Game logic doesn't really matter there. I mean, actual make sense logic doesn't really. I mean, it's Mario. Does it need to make a, a ton of sense? It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be wacky here. It's not out of place, I would say. Got a stretch. Got my uh, Scrimlo Bemblo shirt over here. Okay. Bro, screw you. You cheated. Do 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 do. Bro, okay. Well, if I'm playing with both characters, I can have the best of both. That's actually kind of a good idea. I 
Okay, how do I get up there? Oh wait, duh. I never really get to play with the hammer suit that much, honestly, because I'm mostly using Tanuki, so... That's pretty fun. Plus, I get to deal with the platforming challenges without as much floating. Bro, I, I had that. I gotta play Mario Crossover for this stream sometime. That used to be one of my favorites to play on my computer back then, like 10 years ago. Oh, I forgot there that I had this in here. Kind of reminds me of the snake, the donut, the snake block thing that moves around. Yeah, I don't know if you played 3.0, but I had like bass, bait, I mean bass, I had freaking like the guy from Blaster Master. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's why I r went so hard on making Mario a special. In Mario Maker 1. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't have cared about that game. Probably. Well, actually I would have, but... Still, I wouldn't have really known about it. Otherwise, so... It's cool that it gave Mario Special the recognition it kind of deserves. Because the levels in that game are actually pretty cool and well designed. If I had my Wii U still, I'd definitely be playing my levels again for a stream, but... Actually, you know... My my stream channel would be a great way to advertise my levels. I could just play through them all and be like, Hey, these are levels I made. Check them out. Huh. <laughs> I never really thought about that. That's what I call a double... 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 Double advertisement there. Both because I'm doing a stream... But also, because I'm playing my own levels. Huh. I mean, I know Mario Maker 2 is kind of dead now, but... That'd be a great idea. Actually. I gotta do... I gotta get on that eventually. They're not before Kingdom Hearts 2. Maybe. Because I think, like, beating all my levels would take... Oh, wait, sorry. I'm just kind of stretching around. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think beating my levels would at least take a while to do. Because I have a lot of them. Wager time. No one up or anything? Uh... Damn, Luigi gets all the platformer levels without having a Tanuki suit, while well, Mario gets it easy. Okay, I'm fine. He gone, Tetris. I love all the shapes of the tracks. Oh. Okay. A little bit tripped up there, you little... You suck. Stop trying to take my awesome power up. Bro, those things are so funny. I remember them mostly from a freaking NES Remix level, where they're used a lot, and you're like playing as Mario 2 Peach. From my recollection, anyway. I, I wish they ported NES Remix to Switch. I love that game so much. It was so fun. It was a great... What the hell? I just kept going. 
It was a great way to experience this, experience those like outdated NES games in a way where they still felt fun again. Like, just playing most of those games now, they just kind of suck. Like, as games, but if you play them in like bits, like, you know, in the experience that NES Remix presents, it makes them fun again. Like they were in the 80s. Like, most of those early NES games kind of suck. I, I had NES Remix 1 and 2 on the Wii U. It was pretty cool. Didn't have the 3DS one, but it's basically the same game, so... Yeah. That one had a... a World Championships mode. For the... Uh, what? What? Okay. Um, you know, like the Nintendo World Championships. Oh. And then it hit me. I'm in that level. Okay. This is fine. Um, okay, so I guess I'll just look for the exit. Okay. I- If the shell weren't trying to break out all the time, I think- I would think this would be kind of niche, but no. And in this game, you can't just place it down like you could in Mario Maker, so it's like... Kind of annoying. I don't know which way it is, either. Can I just use this? I could use this block, right? Oh, no, they just disintegrate. Bro. Bro, this level sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Go, 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 okay. Wait a minute, I could have just did that, actually. What was I thinking? I don't need a shell. Where am I supposed to go? And why do I need a shell? Is it just a brick wall? It's like, I can just... Break it. With my power. Right? No. I don't actually know. I haven't played this game. Oh, hey the Rain. How you doing? Things are a little bit different from my previous stream. Because I accidentally loaded over a save. But thankfully, I could still access World 6, so, um... Oh. Ah, damn it. Okay, well, this level's annoying. Bro, the freaking beetles keep getting in my way! Why? Okay, what, what, whatever. This ball is getting in the way. Koop is gone, but he'll respond. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see now. Okay, that was a little irritating, but it's fine. At least the thing or area you need to go in is like right next to where the Koopa shell is, so. 
Fair enough, I guess. Oh, easy. Yeah, it was a two-player save that had the world, so... By the way, on the next stream, I'm gonna be playing World E from Super Mario Advance 4, which is also like this game a lot. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. That'll be tomorrow, probably. I don't think I'll have time for it today, because I'm gonna be being Mario 3. Bro. Bruh. So you have trauma too, huh, Capo? No, I'm just kidding. Well, at least you beat these games as a kid. I, I, I only just played a couple worlds, and then that was enough for me, because I wasn't really the best at 2D Mario. So now I'd say I'm pretty good at it. I feel like Mario Maker is a lot of what sh is a lot of the reason I sharpen my skills. Honestly. Yeah, I would just beat a couple worlds in each of the games and be like, okay, uh, I'm gonna stop here. Bro. Bro. Back then, we didn't have, like, save states or anything like that, so I didn't have as much patience. Now, I still don't really have patience, because I use save states, but hey, at least I can beat games now. I can get through all the levels, because uh, I don't have to restart all the time. Hate that stuff. Who needs to restart? I use safe safe and I am not ashamed of it. Okay. Bro. 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 That was kind of funny. Bro, okay. Honestly, I want to kick Bowser's butt with a hammer suit this time. Last time I played this game, I just had the freaking Tanuki suit. So now I'll have platforming challenges and I'll have the hammer. You know, that's cool. Darn it. Man, this world's kind of long. Bro. Bro, wait, what the heck are you supposed to do? Well, this should help me, provided I don't lose it.
in a freak accident. Yeah, I agree. That's basically the way I see it, because, like, even if you use save states, you still have to, like, do the same things over and over again. It just makes it so it's not, you know, as cumbersome for people that don't want to spend as much time on the game replaying the same level over and over again. It's like, for me, I'm kind of somewhat impatient with stuff like that. I kind of just want to get through with the game, especially on my streams where I'm just, you know, I don't always have enough time, so, you know, it just makes it convenient, really. Good for accessibility's sake. And, you know, it's good as an option. Like, for people who like them, they're there. For people that don't, they don't have to use them. Like, oh, no harm in them being there. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, you're shape state, and like, so what? I don't care. I think they're fun. Bro, wait, which one was it? Oh, wait. Damn. Can I hit Boo in the face with it? Yes. Bro, I can kill Thwomp. This is kind of OP. Not gonna lie. Wait a minute. I could just... Whack him! Bro, I love this power-up. Why did they never bring it back in anything? That's like Shell Mario. I know some people hate Shell Mario for some reason, but I love Shell Mario. I think it's kind of fun in an annoying way, I guess. I don't know if that even makes sense, actually. It's a little bit annoying, but fun to play with. Bro, you can one-shot Boom Boom with this thing. Just smack him in the face with a hammer. Does Bowser die in one hit? I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if you saw see up, but I was in the freaking Goomba Shoe level, and it wasn't giving me the Goomba Shoe. I tried jumping on the Goombas, nothing is working. I don't know why. It might have been because I was Luigi, but I don't know if that's actually a reason. Like, I tried getting rid of my power-up, see if that works. It didn't work. No. The freaking spikes. Tried becoming small Luigi. And it, it still wouldn't drop the shoe. When I jumped on him. It just died. And then that was it. Bro. Bro, H. H. Bro. You suck. Wait, really? Ah. Oh. I'm so used to Mario Maker that I legit thought I was doing something wrong. You're only able to get the shoe from freaking jumping beneath it? No. That's dumb. Well, I just did the level without using the shoe. Sue me. Well, we'll be seeing more of those shoes in World E anyway. So, no harm, no foul. In World D, in one, in one of the World E levels, they're actually really realized. It's one of the hardest ones, in my opinion. Oh, underwater world. I mean, level. Interesting. But I can just kill everyone. I say as I perish immediately. Is 
the babies don't live on. If their mother dies, so do they. What? How do you cross that gap? Actually, I know exactly how. In Mario, you can always cross one-way gaps with running. It's like the freaking Ninja Turtles gap. It's like, oh, how do I cross? The ceiling's too freaking low. And then the whole time, you know, he just had to walk over it. Not even the freaking Ninja Turtles NES game. It's funny. Bro, you suck. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Was I supposed to go up here? Oh, yeah. Do, do, do. Oh wow, this one's fun. Alright, I'm doing my best Buster Beetle impression here. No coins for me, sadly. You suck. Okay. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm being silly right now. Bro. Damn it. Only the statue can break them. Stretch can't die though, right? Wait, wow, you can kill Stretch. Damn it. freaking out right now. Wow, this is actually kind of cool. Spooky, even. Da-da-da-da! Dead. I just noticed my freaking aspect ratio wasn't correct. Not that this would affect anyone on the stream, I think. No. But... Yeah, I have to switch the aspect ratio whenever the freaking... TV is like 
Right, he's a Monty Mole. We don't even know those guys yet. Unless you count Rocky Wrenches, which, okay, they retconned into Monty Moles, but... Forget which one that is. Wait, you can't you can't hit him with a hammer? What? It's the point of anything. If I can't hit him with a hammers! I'm throwing hammers over here. Fucking flying hammer brother from What what is that even what was that even called? Bowser Kingdom, I think? I just need to stretch down here for a second. Oh crap. Bruh. Oh, hey, it's an M for Mario. M for Mario. Why is there a desert level here? 
Doesn't even make sense. Oh yeah, this level is in Mario Maker. But not as a desert, because in Mar deserts didn't exist yet in Mario Maker 1's days. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Oh! Oh wait, this is that area. I remember this. Are you freaking kidding me? That was fine. Wait, did this game not have the freaking one-up combo thing either? I thought it did. How was the first game with the one-up combo? Was it the Super Mario World? Eh, it's fine. It's the freaking weed music. It's just repetitive compared to the other ones. That's all. It's not bad, though. Don't care. Bro, that pipe is the clearly not connecting. I hate it. Bro, an auto scrolling underwater level? That's a rarity. Bro, wait. Um World came out first and then Mario Land 2 was like heavily based on the world. That game was clearly pushing the limits of the system. I don't think it could really handle it, but it was still pretty cool. Eh, it's okay. I guess it's a lot better if you have a hammer suit, though. 
Whenever I see a heavy, heavy amount of Gelectros, uh, again, I'm gonna make a Ninja Turtles NES reference here and say that this is the freaking Coral Reef electric level from that game. <laughs> Bro. I wonder when I'll play Classic Vania for streams. I was gonna in October, but I didn't really have time. I just figured I'd finish Symphony of the Night instead. lives. What the? It's a castle with underground music. That's kind of weird. It's like a dungeon almost. Reminds me of that one Mario World Underground level. You know what, World 7's kind of okay so far. I just hate how you have to freaking go through so many pipes on the map to get through the levels. That's the most annoying thing, honestly. You can hear the audio, the game sound just, um, fine enough, right? Not too low, not too loud. Oh, um, thank you. It can be a little challenging, but it's pretty fun.
Yeah, sounds good. I'm just a, a little bit busy a lot. Um, so I might not be able to watch, like, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to watch, but definitely we'll check it out. Yeah. Good to support your fellow streamers when you can. From friend to friend and stream at a streamer. Oh my god, there is literally no point to that. Okay, is this way? Okay. Plant level. The game's lagging a bit. No, wait. Awesome. We'll do the same too. What kind of games do you play? I play a lot of like platformers, freaking sometimes RPGs here. Mostly like Nintendo and like stuff like that. Oh. Well, Mario 3 is a good game, so... Can't say that's... A, you know... That's... Pr oh, wait, what? Okay. Don't... Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I got a P-Wing. Oh, Pokemon Ruby. That's a good game. I'll probably get the Pokemon eventually, question mark, on this channel, maybe. I just don't know what game it would be, because... I don't, I don't know if I'd play most of the main series on here, but... When the time comes, I may I may consider Pokemon. Maybe. I just feel like it would take too long for someone like, like, like me. Yeah, I think it was just that level. Cause like... Frickin' whatchamacallit. The, uh... When too many things are on screen. Whatever that's called, I forget. me anywhere. Okay. Spooky. Honestly, that's like a ghost house before a ghost house was invented. Wait, ah. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Yeah, you need quite a couple of things to get started. Um, I can't go through that pipe. There's just a bunch of dead ends. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's been a while since I played this game. I don't really remember this level. Oh, no! Really? Well, I kind of figured as much, but... Didn't think they would be doing that crap to me again, so... Oh, well. Guess the hammer suit's gotta go, but, I mean, I got another one, I think. Wait... It was in, earlier in the level. I remember it. I remember getting a leaf somewhere. And then be like, no. Is it in this level? 
Oh yeah, what? Is it in the level itself? Where is the least power up? That's fair enough, but I just I don't know if there's any leaves in the level itself. That's fair. I do that too sometimes, like for games like Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Because, like, they don't really re release that game on anything except for when they do the PS2 version, which I wanted to play the GBA version, which they didn't really release yet, so. Fair enough. Yeah, there is, like, nothing in this level. Okay, you know what? Just gonna go back a bit here. Oh, well, that's just great. Okay. Okay, Mario can't even beat this level. So, I'll have lost my freaking hammer suit with both characters. <sighs> well, I'll try it. Oh, a P-switch? See, I know I need the raccoon leaf, but I can't find any in here, in this level. So... I'm not gonna die. Um... Not in this room, anyway. Yeah, that level kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Wait, I don't... I don't have any raccoon power up, so what am I gonna do? Hold up. Uh... My stock? Maybe there's a power up in this room. Bro, this level's got me. Oh, be right back. All oh, right, I gotta find that power up. Oh, I see now. Bruh, I'm so stupid. Okay, um... Other people are also going in video right now. So...
go to look it up. Called. I don't know what people. I don't know where it is. Oh, I found it. I don't see any freaking leaves on this level map. Racing games are pretty fun. I'm gonna go to the Toad House and get a suit. It's the only thing I can think of. Crap, am I stuck here? Actually, I could just... You know what, screw that level. I don't got time for this. If I had more time, I would do that, but... Um... Eh, I don't have time to do any of that, I'm sorry. I gotta end the stream soon and beat the world before it frickin'... Um... Yeah. Well, that's good to know for next time. I just don't got time. I got beat this game in like 30 minutes. Yeah. I don't know if I can actually. You know what? Maybe I'll just do a world A later and then do world E after as a separate like thing. Yeah. I wanted to beat the game today, but I didn't I don't think I have a lot enough time. level. What is your problem? Oh, I see now.
think I'm gonna beat this world and then head off. Bro, there's like still three more levels, four more levels here. Oh, it's one of those levels. Flappy bird. Wait. No, what? Thank you for checking out the streams, Sustas Play. It was nice seeing you. Or, it is nice seeing you anyway. I don't know why I'm speaking past tense. Anyway. Paper reference part two. Bro, are you kidding me? This freaking level stupid. This level's kind of cool. I like how those red paragons kind of became the default one. At least the movement patterns. Like, the regular paragumas, the colored ones, are the ones with the babies, but we don't see those now. And now there just isn't a red paragumba anymore. Bro.
Honestly, the tombs could be oil ocean zone vibes. From like Sonic 2. Maybe it's also because the background's orange. I don't know. Bro, all these freaking dead ends. Okay, never mind. This level sucks. Bro. Oh wait, never mind. I thought that was the top area. I was like, what? Five levels. I'm sorry. Bro. Bro. Just, just stop. Oh, God. This isn't really fun. Okay. Whoa. This level isn't that cool. Oh yeah. Susty, have you ever played um, Super Mario Advance 4? Because I'm going to be playing that version of Mario 3 after I'm done with Mario 3. Well, at least the World E levels in it. I'm pretty excited about it, because I've never actually played them. In their original state, anyway. Dad, I didn't see him. Uh, I hate everything right now. Bro. Bro, this level is sucks. You can on the Wii U if you have um if you want to buy um Mario Advance 4 on virtual console, because they have all the levels unlocked by default in that version, which is pretty cool. You can just play them. No aim reader required. Okay, we're almost done. Finally. World's having such a pain. Yeah, but it's only eight dollars, right? You could get new levels for Mario 3 for only eight bucks. That's not a bad deal, man. Otherwise, officially, you'll never be able to see those levels again. Unless you count my Mario Maker 2 remakes. Just consider it a DLC pack for Mario 3. I'm just saying. It's like a DLC. At that price, anyway, it's like DLC. Bro! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mario All-Stars is weird. Like, it's literally, it's just Yoshi. That's Yoshi. Bro. 
I forgot what the transformations were in the NES versions. I think they were just regular Mario 3 enemies here. They just made them freaking whatever the hell they wanted. They just did Donkey Kong Jr. They did Yoshi, a freaking, that's a Yoshi's Island spray. It looks kind of weird here. King Yoshi. Bruh, I honestly forgot about it. I knew Donkey Kong Jr. was one of them, and then the Mario 2 enemies. But, I kind of forgot Yoshi was there. King Yoshi. I gotta get it going soon, so I was just in a bit of a hustle to finish this dumb world. I'm glad the lighting and stuff is a lot better this time, though. I'm gonna sit down for a bit. Take a moment here. Bro, the hammers don't work on these bosses. Bro, okay, Ludwig sucks. Also, why is his hair white? Oh god. Bro. Kooky von Koopa over here. Let's go, we saved King Yosh and ended the stream. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out my Discord server. Link is on the Twitch channel sidebar thing on my uh, channel. With all the links. Yo, I kidnapped the princess while you are running around. She's here in my castle if you dare to try and rescue her. <laughs> King of the Koopa. Um, anyway. Also, I, uh, keep all these streams archived on my YouTube channel. Same channel name, and you can watch Mario 3. These, um, streams. You can watch... There's, uh, Castlevania, Splatoon, Mario, Kirby, Sonic games, and a lot more. So, yeah. Feel free to check those out. Anyway, have yourselves a good one. And take care, everyone. <laughs>